As we solve limits algebraically, we come up on this idea of removing the problem when the denominator was 0. That removing the problem is called removing the discontinuity, which then leads to the question, what is continuity? The official definition of continuity is that a function is continuous at a point A if it satisfies three criteria. The first requirement is that the function at the point is defined. The second criteria is that the limit as x approaches that number of the function exists. And the third requirement is that the function at the point is actually equal to the limit as x approaches a of the function. Well, that's the official definition. It might be easier to think about continuous as it's a smooth curve on the graph. In other words, you never have to lift your pencil in order to draw the graph of the function. Let's look at some counterexamples of things that are not continuous to help us get an idea of what this means. Let's say we have a graph that comes into a point, jumps, and then comes out of that point. In order to draw this graph, you would have to lift your pencil. It is discontinuous. It is discontinuous because the limit as x approaches, we'll call that point A, the limit as x approaches A of f of x does not exist because it's not approaching the same thing on both sides. This is called a jump discontinuity because the graph jumps at the point. How about this graph? We'll put point A over here, and we'll say that the graph comes up to an empty dot, jumps up to a dot, and then comes back down to the graph. The limit here does exist, but what we notice is that the limit as x approaches A of this function, it's not the same as the function because the dot is up above. Because the graph technically is smooth, there's just a hole in the graph, we're going to call this a removable discontinuity. Another type of removable discontinuity would be the similar case where the graph comes to a point and then there's a hole. This still fails to be continuous because the point f of a at our a where that hole is does not exist. It's not defined. There's no point on the graph at a. This is also an example of a removable discontinuity. When there's a hole in the graph, that's going to be our removable discontinuity. And it might be because the limit doesn't equal the function or that the function is just undefined at that point. A third case that we have is if there is a vertical asymptote at the A. So maybe the graph bends around that asymptote. Here we fail at multiple points because now f of A is undefined, and the limit as x approaches a of f of x does not exist. It's technically negative infinity. This one's called an infinite discontinuity. In order to satisfy all three of the requirements, the graph should be able to be drawn smoothly without lifting your pencil. 
That is the only time we can say it is continuous. This section, we've taken a look at limits and continuity. It's your turn to practice some of these on the assignment.